this fortress and home was built over 500 years ago in the New World. Think about that a second. Over five centuries ago, it was here almost a hundred years before the first British settlement in the Americas. It was here for 109 years before the Pilgrims got to Plymouth Rock. More than half of its lifespan was before the United States even existed as an independent nation. It was the home of three generations of Christopher Columbus's family. It is known as Alcazar de Colon, which means the Fortress of Columbus. In this video, I'll tell you its history and take you on a tour of this amazing location. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and recently we visited Alcazar de Colon in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, in the Caribbean, and we wanted to share its history with you. At Family Tree Nuts, we make history videos all over the United States and a few countries, so if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that thumbs up button. The Alcazar de Colon, or the Fortress of Columbus, was the home of Diego Columbus, the firstborn son of Christopher Columbus. In the year 1508, Diego was made governor of the Indies, a post that was previously held by his father. Diego began the construction of the home in 1511, and it was completed in 1514. It was, of course, the first fortified Spanish palace built in the Americas. Diego married Maria Alvarez de Toledo, who was the first cousin of the first king of Spain, King Ferdinand II. The palace was the site of planning and staging for many explorations and conquests in the New World. Spanish conquistadors Hernán Cortés and Pedro de Alvarado visited here, and Cortés even had a house nearby. The original house had 55 rooms, but today, only 22 rooms still remain. Diego died in 1526 on one of his many missions to Spain, but his wife lived here until her death in 1549. Three generations of the Columbus family lived here until the late 1500s. In 1586, the palace was captured by the British pirate slash privateer, Sir Francis Drake. By the mid 1700s, the palace was in ruins and in 1776, the year of American independence, plans were made to turn the palace into a prison. My, how far it had fallen. The house is now restored and is a museum with various period furnishings and tapestries. Let's go for a tour. Upon entering, you can watch a short video and you will see mannequins dressed in clothing and armor of the 1500s. You will even see a knight on his horse dressed for battle. The palace is completely furnished with several pieces that are original to the home, including the original bedroom suits of Diego Columbus and Maria Alvarez de Toledo. You can even visit Diego's office with its original furnishings. The palace has its own chapel, and it has a music room, complete with a choir box bench. Imagine sitting this close. Another interesting feature of the house is the lantern holders that are in the form of gargoyles and said to scare away evil spirits. Be sure to catch the breeze and gaze out one of the many magnificent windows. The view from the back patio is spectacular. Thank you. 
Outside the palace is a large courtyard where you can get your best views of the fortress and the surrounding area. You can even see the Columbus Lighthouse, which is the tomb of the European discoverer of the New World. Yes, I know how controversial that statement is, but that is not the point of this video. At the rear of the building, you can explore the old city wall and grounds. For someone that loves history, it is breathtaking to walk these grounds and your mind is taken back to its beginnings, even though you are surrounded by all things of the modern world. So there you have it, a brief history of the Alcazar de Colon. What do you think? Have you visited here before? Did you know any of this story before or after you visited? Have you now added this location to your bucket list? We'd love to hear from you, and please let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to see our other historical videos from Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic, from the Faro a Colon, also known as the Lighthouse of Columbus, which contains his tomb. As well as our video of the main historical things to see in Santo Domingo, the oldest city in the New World. The Fortress of Columbus is one of those places that most people have never heard of, but it is one of the few places in all the Western Hemisphere where you can touch history that is half a millennium old. We are proud to help preserve the stories and share them with all of you. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.